Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a game pass to uh, add another jump per second in your jump per second game. So, let's get into it. So under our game here in the um, creator dashboard, we want to click the three dots and just click on create badge for now, just so we can get into it. And then under associated items, click passes and create a pass. Now I'm not going to add an image, you can if you'd like, but I'm just going to call this uh, two times jump per second. And we're going to hit create pass. Now I'm going to, under this here, we're going to click on it. Under sales, we have to put it up for sale. And I'm going to make this one maybe 15 Robux because it's a bit uh, more powerful. And in the URL, you'll see we've got a first ID and a second ID. We want to copy the second one. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to head back into our game. So in our game, you'll see we've got a wins game pass from the last video. If you haven't, I recommend you go watch that first. I'm just going to duplicate this drop down and call this um, jump game pass we'll call this two times jump two times jump or something like that now we'll click on this the ID is going to be this new one that we've created and everything else will stay the exact same under our game pass here we've got our local wins ID we're now going to have a local jump ID which will be equal to this new uh, ID here now what we're going to do is after this if we're going to copy this if up here, uh, copy, paste it down here, and this will be rather than player dot um, rather than wins ID in here, this will be jump ID. Uh, if player dot uh, rather than saying player dot wins game pass, we're going to say player dot jump game pass. Now under leader stats, we'll copy this wins game pass and call it jump game pass. Copy that and paste it all in here. Just filling in all of everything so it's all jump game pass now. We will then close the leader stat script and now what we will do is under our jump increase script where we are doing all this uh, jumping we're going to say oh when we increase the jump height by one plus the player dot leader stats dot wins dot value we'll then say if player dot jump game pass dot value equals true then this should be two equals we're going to player dot character dot humanoid dot jump height plus equals one and then we're going to add this line uh, player.character.jump humanoid.jump height plus equals one into here again. Now it's up to you if you want to add the wins value again. I don't recommend you do. But that's completely up to you. And that's now it. So to test this once again, we will need to file publish to Roblox. We'll also need to view this item in our inventory and delete it. This is where I recommend you make the price cheap again so you can buy it. And we will now go over to our game that we've just made and play it so you see here we load in we got two times jump uh, it prompts us to buy it so you'll see we're getting uh let me actually reset my wins for this because otherwise it will be a bit harder to tell so you'll see we're getting one jump per second when we buy this we should be getting two so we buy this uh your purchase has succeeded you see we aren't getting two jump per second oh yes we are there we go now it's kicked in we're getting two jump per second and if we leave and rejoin you'll see when we load in uh, we're still getting that two jump per second and we can't click any of these again because we've already got the game pass. And that's it everyone, that's all I wanted to show you. I will have a video coming out in the future on a uh, proper in-depth tutorial on game passes. But this is just trying to get this done and out of the way for you so um, you lot can all have this feature to your game. So I hope you found this helpful everyone. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.